Hi, fourth graders. Today we are talking about lesson 89, which is mixed numbers and improper fractions. The new concept begins on page 564. So as we look there, we're showing this picture. And in this picture, we can see that one and one half circles are shaded. So one whole circle and one half of a circle is shaded. So one and one half. Um, that's the mixed number. We can also see that that's the same thing as saying that there are three halves. One, two, three halves. Okay, if we were talking about three halves, notice that the bigger number is in the numerator. The bigger number is on top. The numerator is larger than the denominator, which is the two at the bottom. So since we have the three on the top, that is called an improper fraction. It's not what we would usually think of as a fraction. So three halves is an improper fraction. As we move through this lesson, we're gonna draw pictures to show that mixed numbers, which is the whole number and the fraction together, um, are equivalent or equal to an improper fraction with the larger number on the top. Okay, so this picture is telling us that both three halves is equal to one and one half, that this is the same thing. Three halves is equal to one and one half. Both are represented by this picture. Okay, so looking at the example on page 564, it says draw circles to show that two and three fourths equals 11 fourths. So I have fourths here and I'm just going to show um, 11 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now I'm going to arrange them so that I have, um, that I can make them into full circles and then fractions. So I can show my whole numbers and Okay, so how many fourths are in the full circle? There should be four. Four fourths equal one whole. Okay, so that's four fourths. Okay, there's another four fourths, so we have eight fourths. Okay, now I had eight, nine, ten, eleven, so this would be eleven fourths which you can see is the same as having two whole circles and three fourths of another circle. So two and three fourths is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fourths. Okay, moving on to the activity on page 564. It says place five half circles on a desk, then arrange four half circles to form whole circles. Draw a picture of the whole and part of the circles you formed and write an improper fraction and mixed number to represent you represented by the five halves. So I have one, two, three, four, five half circles. So I'm going to now arrange these to form them into circles and whole circles and then fractions. So I have one, two whole circles and I don't have enough to make another, so two and one half. So I still have five halves, which also formed into two and one half. Okay, so the improper fraction is five halves. The mixed number is one and one half. Okay, continuing, B, place one more half circle on the desk to complete another circle. So we had five and a half, or five halves, sorry. 
and now I'm placing one more half circle. So remember that I had two and a half circles formed. So one hole, two hole, and now I would make, I have another half so I can make another hole circle. So to write the improper fraction, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six halves, six half pieces, six halves, and that gave me three whole circles. Okay, continuing, letter C. Clear the desk of the half pieces, half circles, and place seven one-fourth circles on the desk. Fit the pieces together to form a whole circle and part of a circle. Draw the picture and write the improper fraction and mis mixed number represented. So on a whiteboard or scratch paper, um, you can draw the picture once we're finished. So we're going to have seven one-fourth pieces. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I'm going to arrange them so that I can form full and part circles. So two fourths, three fourths, uh, it's not cooperating with me. And then four fourths equals one. Okay, and I have one. two-fourths, three-fourths, left. So my fraction, my improper fraction would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven-fourths, which is the same as one and three-fourths. So seven-fourths equals one and three-fourths. Okay, go ahead and clear and go to D. It says place one more fourth circle on the desk to complete another circle. Write improper fraction and the whole number represented. So I had seven fourths. If I'm adding one more, I'll have eight. So one, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'm adding one more into it to make eight. And then I'm going to try to make my circles with the pieces I have. So one fourth plus another fourth gives me a half circle. If I can get things to cooperate. Okay, there's one hole. And I have four pieces left, so that's going to give me another full circle. Okay, so I will have two whole. And how many, what's my improper fraction? How many parts do I have? I know there are four in each, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight fourths is the same as two whole circles. Okay, so now I'm on lesson practice, page 565. So on your scratch paper, you give this a try before we go through it together. So A says draw circles that show one and three fourths is the same as seven fourths. Go ahead and draw your circles, split them into fourths, showing one and three fourths, is the same as seven fourths, and you can just draw your circle, split them in parts, and then shade them. Okay, so if I'm showing one and three fourths, or seven fourths, I'm just gonna count out seven fourths. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to arrange them so that I have full circles as I need to. And one full circle and three fourths. So seven fourths so far. OK, 
Okay, I have one full circle. I'm obviously not going to have enough to make a whole nother one. I just need three fourths. So I'm going to put it together as three fourths of a circle. So your circle should look shaded where my yellow is. So one and three fourths is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fourths. Okay, go ahead and do B. Draw circles that show that two and one half is the same as five halves. So again, draw your circles, shade them into parts, or split them into parts and shade what is necessary. Okay, so two and one half is the same as five halves. So I need five pieces, five halves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now I'm gonna put them together to form into circles. So I should end up with two and one half circles left. So here's one, and two full circles and one half left over. So two and one half is the same as one, two, three, four, five halves. Okay, so your picture should represent that same thing. Okay, last one. Draw circles that show one and one third is the same as four thirds. So go ahead and give it a try. Draw your circles, split them into thirds, shade the parts that are necessary. Okay, I need four thirds. Okay. It'll be a little bit harder to piece together, I think. Do the best we can. So here I have one, two thirds. kind of an interesting little guy but one and then I have one third left over so one two three four thirds is the same as one and one third left over so your circles should look shaded in this way okay now you can go ahead and do the lesson practice for lesson 89 or I mean not lesson practice sorry reteaching for lesson 89 you've already done the 30 questions for 87 um, so you don't have to do another 30 questions for this week. So go ahead and do 89's reteaching and you're good to go. Good luck.